a coffee museum today, so that's where we're going. I'm excited to drink coffee. Me too. tickets and we're here. There aren't a lot of people which is really nice. Probably most of them are in the cafe of the museum drinking coffee. The tickets are also only 10 reais, it's two dollars, but if you're like a student or um, like a professor, they give you a 50% discount, which is one dollar. <laughs> this room was actually an auction house where there were official brokers appointed by the state. And then at the end, when the session was completed, the average value of the coffee sold on the day was written on the board and then the trading was formalized. It's a library about coffee. Other than the history of coffee, they also discuss quite a bit of colonial history. It's only Portuguese, but still. <laughs> so it seems that coffee began to be cultivated here first in Brazil and then it went down and down and down. auction happening and there's people like writing something on the little table there and this guy announcing stuff. The espresso machine was quite complicated as you can see. What I've actually found surprising that many people may not know is that a large part of the workforce who were working pretty much on everything that had to do with coffee was composed of women. It is pretty incredible how like in such a short amount of time we've like been able to transform from all of this into iPhones and computers and very complicated stuff. So. Cafe museum. They always they had to have they have to have, to have a cafe. Is it good? 